So here's the uh, 183 inch belt installed. And I added this um, idler or a tensioner pulley. So it's just um, a spring here to pull it tight. And I got a couple different holes. I can adjust the position of that to, uh, if it starts to slip, I can make it a little tighter, but uh, that worked out really well. I got that belt installed. Um, so okay. fuel tanks are in. So on this uh, model right here is the fuel filler. And then there's another one on the other side. And it's got this half circle splash shield or bullet shield around it. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing here. I've got two fuel tanks and, uh, so here's uh, one installed and I drew a line where I'll put a, a, I'll buy a six inch PVC coupling and uh, cut it at the right angle and, and glue it on there. So it'll look similar to the real thing. And, and there's another one on the other side, same thing. And uh, I'll have uh, dual tanks. The Sherman had actually had four tanks. Um, this whole area here was all one tank. And then there was one down here, um, a little bit lower all the way down to the floor. So two of those on each side, so four tanks all together. But anyway, this one has two tanks. And uh, I just got one hooked up for now, but um, it's, it's uh, strapped up against the, uh, the this beam here. And a similar one on the other side. So there's the fuel tanks. And now, what to do about these engine doors? I can't have a solid sheet of wood for a door. So I found these. These are... Ducts I got at Home Depot, or a, excuse me, a duct cover made for a 16 by 16 duct opening, and they almost perfectly fit in here as doors. And you can see the, the louver pattern even matches the real tank. We got four rows going across uh, on each door. Same thing here. So just got lucky on the size and the louvers mac exactly matching, so I'll get those painted green, screw on the hinges. And we'll be good to go there. Okay, here's the exhaust system with two mufflers out of one inch pipe. And then uh, I got a little union fitting down here where it'll connect to the side of the engine. Well, they're on a couple hanger brackets, which will screw into the, the rear hull. And here's the exhaust system installed. So that's a union fitting, which goes then um, into the side of the block. And then up here, um, see if you can see it there, and then into a the T and then down to each side where it goes to the muffler and then there's the hangers I put in there which should be long enough to to dissipate the heat before it gets too hot when it touches the wood there but uh, we start to see it browning or smoking we'll know to do something different there. but here's where the mufflers are hanging approximately in the location of the mufflers on the real Sherman Okay, and some other things done. You can see the battery is in and uh, everything's wired up. There's the solenoid and that's a little uh, fuse for the accessories. And uh, the cable goes all the way here to the uh, control panel. So um, I've got a key here to turn it on. And I got a voltmeter and meter, uh, my interior lights, fan, which I had before. And on the old tank, this was the on off switch, but now the key turns these on. So this is just kind of a, a free switch for a future, uh, future uh, updates or whatever. On this side, I made a little uh, box for the throttle and choke. So throttle, choke, um, and then it goes through these cables. I had to find a 100 inch long. Uh, they're both choke cables, but I modified one to uh, work as a throttle. So they go through the, through the firewall and down to the uh, engine. So um, got everything ready to start. Let's see how it does. Okay, let's see if she starts. On. Got lights on so I can see a little better. Throttle on, choke on.
Well, that's pretty loud. Hopefully it's a bit quieter with the uh, firewall installed. But uh, she runs. All right, we're getting close. I got uh, three more weekends to get ready before the 4th of July. So we'll keep at it. Thank you for watching.